Hey, good morning. Welcome to your Daily Grip on God's Word. Today, we are going to be in Luke chapter 2, and I'm going to warn you. I don't normally do this, but uh, Luke, this is a two-pager today out of chapter 2. A lot of verses, uh, a lot of information, uh, so let's, let's dive right in. What verse or verses rose up for you? For me today, verses 8 through 14. I know that's a lot, but stick with me on this. There's a purpose behind it. I titled this, Glory to God in the Highest. Here's my G, God's Word, starting in verse 8. And this is written out of the King James Version. I normally do New Living, uh, but when I was younger, uh, I memorized this out of King James, and it just sounds um, fresh to me when I read it in King James. So I'm going to read that to you today, starting in verse 8. Here's the KJV. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill toward men. When I read that version, that takes me back to when I was a, a small boy. And my grandmother would read the story to us every year. Brings up a lot of wonderful memories. Here's my R, here's my reveal. Lots to unpack here. First, the announcement was to a group of shepherds. Shepherds were despised by many because of some who earned their poor reputations by stealing and doing bad things. Shepherds weren't looked at in a good light. Jesus came to redeem those of us who have been cast aside. He also came as the great shepherd. Can you let your mind wander and think about the angels' voices as they made their announcement to the shepherds? Had to be incredible. Had to be incredible. Here's my I, my implementation. We must get it through our heads to our hearts that Jesus came to save the lost. We don't have to clean ourselves up to go to him. We go as we are. The shepherds were probably covered in dust, dung, and deeds of deception, yet the angels made their proclamation to them. The message is simple and yet so profound. Come as you are, just don't stay the way you came. Uh, pretty simplistic and yet so profound. Uh, I, I think purposely Jesus came to the shepherds to let us all know that we all have value in his eyes. Um, and he, he didn't come to the kings. He didn't come to the rulers. He didn't come to the round table. He came out into the field, um, out to people that were probably looked down upon, despised, um, not the cleanest of creatures. And yet that's who he came and made his proclamation to. Pretty incredible. Here's my P, here's my prayer. Lord, thank you for coming to earth to redeem us and set us free. Thank you for the picture of the shepherds and the angelic proclamation. I'm still amazed at your entry into your creation being surrounded by all types of created beings that you crafted into your image. Thank you for loving us so much and so well. In Jesus' name, amen. Guys, this story needs to be shared with everybody uh, in every way, in every manner. Uh, they all have value in God's eyes, and we need to, that needs to be our message this, this holiday season. Uh, that needs to be our message that even the lowliest of low, God cares about, God loves, God saved, God redeemed uh, through Jesus' act. Uh, let's let's share that message and let that be on our tongues all throughout this holiday season. Let me pray for us on our way out. Father, I do thank you for this uh, charge you've given us today. I pray, Lord, that we would use this to, um, Lord, just make every conversation about Jesus, about his coming, about his birth, about his life, 
about his death, about his resurrection. Lord, I pray that we would tie it all together and uh, allow people to uh, hear the, the gospel message of hope, the gospel message of life, and that this holiday season would be different than anyone they've ever faced before. Lord, I just pray that you would just put that on our hearts, on our tongues and our minds. Lord, just help us to share it with so many that need to have that message. Lord, we love you. We thank you. We bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Guys, be blessed. I'll see you back here tomorrow.